we are going to be playing this uh, Slesnia Proliferate deck. Uh, so the idea of this is just to make as many creatures with counters and then play Evolution Sage and start proliferating. Uh, or Hoatley's Raptor and do the same. So there's lots of lots of things that uh, give uh, counters to everything. So uh, let's... We've also got a sideboard in case we ultimate Vivian. We never know. We may need that ability. So let's fire on into some more games. see how this one goes this one's one of my own one of my own brews rather than someone else's so i want to start off the stream with uh, one of someone else's just to kind of get the ball rolling with something that i knew would be would be reasonable um rather than something i've created Deathright Squad. 69 followers. Uh, opponents on the play. This one is... Oh, it's not great. I'm going to mulligan it. Uh, this one's better. Uh, this guild gate is just awkward, I think. So yeah, It's going to be so good with these, though. Uh, let's just throw away a planes, maybe... Right, let's go. Pelt Collector. When do we hear more of my cricket career? The cricket season's over, which is why I'm back to streaming, so it'll be a while before you hear anything about that again. Oh, that's brutal. That was uh, that was pretty gross. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. That's a, that's a whole lot of cards you got going on over there, opponent. And uh, yeah, I got nothing. This uh, this draw's not worked out. So let's let's move on to the second one. Game two. Let's see how we get on with this one. Um, so we are running some giveaways um, for some different codes. So all you need to do is type in exclamation point MTG ELD giveaway in chat and you'll be eligible to get a code. Um, it is one per person, so if you've already won, you won't be able to uh, enter again. But it is open to anyone, so... All you need to do is type in exclamation point MTG ELD giveaway in chat.
and we'll run it for about 30 minutes and then once we've uh, once we've got that done we will uh, we'll declare the winner auto pay solution has changed okay interesting Yeah, we're going to try and get them with these Wildborn Preservers, but we'll see what happens. as well eat this. I mean, we've got uh, less cards in hand, so this robber's not doing anything just now. We can worry about the robber later. This is a this is a pretty good start. I mean, we need to need some more lands, but this is kind of where we want to be at. Perfect. I would like my stuff to be bigger and indestructible and hit you. Okay. They're still going to be indestructible and they're still going to hit you. Vivians are not getting cast this game, which is a uh, part of the problem with this mana base. There are only five planes, but we have drawn two of them, so. Steamkin. not been a whole lot of burn from them. I've seen one shock. I'm wondering if they're more creature based with the uh, the raw burn and everything. That's gross. If I don't draw a land, I'm gonna scoop it up here. Like our hands not our draw's not been particularly uh good for for that, so really need to be drawing the land for this. Right, okay, we'll give it a go with this. This thing gives us an opportunity to try and win, so another land lets us Vivian, so
Attack with this. Probably has to trade off with the Steamkin. They just take the damage. Okay. Let's see how we. What have they got? What massive set of spells are we getting here? A robber. And frenzy. Okay, the Vivian. Let's. This is shooting this steam gun. Get him. block of that steamkin so it puts him to four. Second Vivian might be enough here. This questing beast is uh, certainly a card. This is only our second uh, second deck of the stream so First off, we did a, a red black aggro deck, which was uh, was pretty sweet. We went five and three, and we're currently zero and one or zero and two with this deck. A um, couple of rough draws, but the mana base in this deck is is pretty horrific. So that's part of the issue. But we will see how we get on throughout the the rest of the day. We are planning on doing the rest of today until the event ends, doing standards. So. Right, so do I want to put my counters on the guys and attack? I guess that means that they they can double block, but whether I kill a guy and attack them for two or put them to one. I uh, haven't tried the ginger root combo deck. Have you got a list? Quite happily play it. Um, let's just shoot one of these. I mean, I'm pretty sure we are now just dead, but we're, we'll we'll keep trying. We'll keep keep bashing through. Not sure what the draws in our deck are that uh, help us get through this one, but we've had a good run with this uh, this game. I guess the the other qu another questing beast is the card that we need, isn't it? Uh, Sling, Fire, and Torbran. Those are those are pretty gross ones. But yeah, I just need a Questing Beast off the top. Because they're going to have to attack the Steamkin off the Vivian to stop me doing Vivian things. Right, one Questing Beast one time. One Questing Beast. That's not a Questing Beast. 
That is not a questing beast. <laughs> Just a reminder to those who have um, recently joined the chat, um, you can enter a giveaway by typing in MT, uh, exclamation point MTG ELD giveaway. Uh, We're currently giving away some arena codes that will be live on Thursday. So we'd really like to be giving those away, so get that in chat, get entered in the giveaway and we'll give them all away. Don't want to I don't want to keep them. They're one per account. I don't I don't need that many. Um this one's kind of awkward, but I think it's still a keep. We gotta play Pelt Collector and then if we draw into anything we are we're in good shape, so. Pelt Collector's not getting through that, so that's kind of annoying. Really want to draw something that I can cast before playing all of this stuff. Yeah, that was awkward. At least their draw seem other than the fact they've played like they've curved like that that's slowing down their their draw significantly and no attacks wonderful So they can trade with the Paragon if they want, and that means my Pelt Collector is a 3-3. Three, three. Which, is, which is fine, that's a, a reasonable exchange there. Uh, this card's really annoying. And they have a Loxodon. I don't really want to be trading with this because I need to be blocking this other stuff, so. Just going to pass the turn here. Vivian can uh, help take out something next turn, so. I have to take some damage this turn to be able to get through that. Uh, that says that all of their things are plus one, plus one. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, those things are indestructible, so. This has been pretty rough. <sighs> okay, let's move on to the next one. We'll give this one, we'll give this deck one more go, and then we will we'll give this one up. Um, this one's not been not been great, but some of the matchups we've had have been been pretty brutal.
Alright, let's... Last one with... Potentially the last one with the Selesnya deck. Uh, this hand's much better. Than the other ones. It's got a much better curve. One, two, three, four... I think we will move on to a Demir control deck next, I think. It's almost always a Knight of the Ebon Legion. Play your Knight. I like it when you get a, get a free card like that. That was good. Take whatever you like there. You don't want the beast. Alright, just gonna play the Barkhide Troll, put a counter on the Wildborn Preserver, and we're just gonna go, go ham. We can also use this uh, Stone Coil Serpent to just put three counters on this if we wanted to, so that it's worth, uh, worth noting. But... Uh, we drew the land, so we're just going to play the Questing Beast. Attack! Okay, well, turn 4 kill. Turn 4 kill after opponent didn't really do anything. Okay, we'll give this one another go. That was uh, that was a better show of it, of it curving out. Maybe there is something in this. They've got to be slightly, slightly more aggressive with their mulligans. Might be that the mana base is, is slightly skewed as well. Obviously, it's early. Like we'll we'll figure out all of these things as we as we go on. So. So there is still ten minutes left to enter the giveaway. So you can type in exclamation point MTG ELD giveaway in chat to enter. At the moment there's only a couple of people entered, so very good chance of, of being able to win. So crack on in and enter the competition. It's a giveaway for a code that gives you some experience for Arena. It goes uh, The code works as of, I think it's 5pm UTC on Thursday. Um, this one's good. So we've got Pelt Collector into Barkhide Troll, into the Sage, into Questing Beast, and we've got a Flower if we're struggling on lands. So this hand is uh, could be pretty good. Could be pretty good. It's potentially that there should be Fabled Passages in here to trigger the Evolution Sage a couple of times as well. I know it's not ideal early, but potentially we should have, like... It's probably better than the Slesnia Guildgate. For doing a very similar role. So if we don't hit a land, we get to flower for uh, planes and play the Barkhide Troll. Uh, they got a questing beast. That's uh, that's quite rude. Uh, 
Now we actually need to get a forest here, don't we? Because otherwise we can't play the Barkhide Troll. Kind of awkward. No attacks here. Get to play our own questing beast next turn, hopefully. See what they take of their once upon a time. Nah, no, murderous rider. That's pretty gross. So they got a register too. I think that means I'm supposed to play the sage and just pump the guys instead. It's like they're just gonna they would just get to kill my questing beast, so I think I'm better off just getting some more value trying to make these things bigger. Um obviously this thing's gonna be a big problem, but I'm going to activate this just so this goes to the graveyard. Not that it makes too much of a difference, but I'd rather they weren't casting another creature. Obviously, we're, we're slightly far behind as it is, so... A land would be pretty good. We'd get to play the Evolution Sage. Yeah, so we get to play Evolution Sage. We get to put a counter on the Wildborn Preserver. And then... So we're going to take action, we'll pay one, we have to click the auto tap button. And then we get to play the planes, which then gets to put two counters on each of these. Which is pretty good. That seems pretty good. It means we get to, can potentially trade with these things. Pelt Collector, that one's kind of gross. Oh, another Registrar is pretty, pretty brutal. Like, we may as well attack with this, because they can't make a profitable block, and if they want to trade here, then it's then it's fine. Can't block with Paradise. They can't double block, because they can't block with Paradise Druids, so... If they want to do this, it's fine. Because we are going to have to block that anyway, so... just means that their Pelt Collector gets slightly bigger. But we can potentially block the Pelt Collector and block the Sage, so... That's, that does it. 
Okay, right, we'll call it a day on this deck um, for the time being. <coughs> um, it's certainly had some play to it, but um, certainly needs some refinement. Um, let's have a look at the deck. Um, so the Pelt Collectors were obviously still very good. I think the, the Evolution Sages were, were good as well. I think the mana base was the biggest issue, and I think I would definitely add some of the, the fetch land into this. Um, it pro probably doesn't need as many lands as this either, because Flower should, in theory, be getting more, more lands. I think some of our draws weren't necessarily uh, ideally lined up um, for that, uh, for the matchups that we were playing, but that's that's magic, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, I think it's certainly something worth worth exploring in the future, but certainly not with this specific uh, this concoction. Um, I think some of the some of the card choices aren't necessarily right, but I think there is a deck in here somewhere. Okay, let's move on to the next one. We have a Demir control deck, and this one looks uh, big and ugly so let's 